All right. Hey, everyone. Oh, let me move my mic a little closer. It's Pastor George, and I know I don't make any gaming content, but I thought that this would be a pretty hilarious thing to do because I want to show all of you people that we pastors are normal people here too, you know? We, we find anime girls attractive, and we laugh, and we love, and we live with them just like every other person out there. Too many people think we're not. So this is Doki Doki Literature Club Blue Skies, this new mod. Well, relatively new. I think it came out like a month ago or something like that. And the reason I'm playing this is I just finished the other one with my friends last night. And I was like, well, I, I have something to teach about Blue Skies, you know, um, heaven and all that. But also, I don't know, I thought it would be fun and figured I could do something on the side. And it's really no big deal for me to record this because they'll probably want to watch me play anyway. So, hey, whoever's uh, watching, that's exciting. Uh, so let's see, settings. Um, I'm gonna turn the music down just a little bit so I don't blast my ears out. Uh, let's see, sensor nudity. Oh, okay, good, it's off. You, 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 can't, you can't do it. Skip Halloween. Man, they really did make this game for Christians, didn't they? You can skip Halloween, you can censor nudity, but I'm an, a man of the arts, all right? I I seek out these things just so I can review them, of course. And If it's part of the game, then it's part of the game. You just got to deal with it. No reason getting butthurt about it. Let's see. Um, full. It's already full screen. Great. All right, new game. What's this? Oh, it's Monica. All right, yeah, so any any spoilers are just gonna go right away. So don't, you know, don't play this if you haven't uh, played, you know, watch this if you haven't played the original one. If you don't care about the original one, don't worry about it. Um, because I already said spoilers. Monica is one of the girls in the game, and in the original one, before the mod, she kind of takes over the game, and, uh, and she's kind of becomes a sentient AI, because she's an option that you couldn't date and she wanted to take over everything so whatever i uh, i uh that's who she is so right now she's you know oh okay you know i've been uh, you, you've you strangled me with the mod so i can't do anything yeah we're gonna play with the mod i'm sure if you do the no thing it does fun stuff but uh you know oh yeah that is my name it's true my name is george i'm not lying to you monica so this game, um, or at least this mod, is supposed to add a bunch of extra stuff that's not in the original one. I think it's supposed to make it more like a traditional dating sim, which I'm all about. Um, so I'm all, I'm all here for that. So um, still classic Japanese dating sim, teenage guy living by his home. Yeah, parents divorce, classic. Don't get divorced, kids. It's wrong. Unless, of course, someone cheats on you. That's one of the biblical reasons for divorce. So. You know, just take that home. Uh, it's, yep, it's made, bacon of eggs. Yeah, classic nuclear family. It's a very beautiful, beautiful thing. This is a pretty nice kitchen for Japan. So that's good. Mom's never home. Yeah, she, she goes to America probably. They love America. Although I know this game is made by Americans too. So, you know. But if this was a traditional Japanese game, you would know that they always go to America because they think we're the coolest country on earth and who could blame them? All right, cool. Sayori's here, that's exciting. Uh-huh, yep, yep. Real shame. Yeah, so in the original game, again, the way it kind of shocks the player is she deals with depression and so she ends up killing herself. Kind of forced by Monica, but still. Uh, so I'm wondering how much of that from the original story is going to remain in here, or how much of it is going to, is going to, you know, whatever. I always voice my lines, that's the least I can do. Hey Sayori, I haven't seen you in a while, how you've been? Yeah, well, that makes two of us. You were up early today, aha. Yeah, so she would always kind of sleep in, and yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Life has been pretty routine these days. School's kind of meh, although I guess it could be worse. Uh, she would like sleep in, but it was because she was depressed or whatever, so maybe that's still happening. Yeah, that's awkward. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, this might come across as a bit out of the blue, but see, I guess that's not a very good way. A bit out of the blue, 
But seeing you here has given me an idea. Well, it's been a while since we've walked to school together. How about we start doing that again? Yeah, she's like your childhood friend. So, you know. Classic girl next door type thing. Bubbly, yeah, cheerful. Oh, I forgot my line. I've always loved hanging out with you and I think we'd have a lot of fun again. Besides, I've missed you. I'll even help you wake up on time if you need me to. I'm a nice guy. This is how I am in real life, people. You know, I'm, I'm just a nice guy, always looking out for my friends like Sayori. Not that I had any friends that were girls at high school. Dab on myself. Yeah, really. Hey, that's nice. Well, let's do it then. From now on, we'll walk to school together, okay? Classic Sayori's, yeah. It is cute. Oh, it's kawaii. For sure. Still smile. Oh, you know, the usual. Games, anime, and manga. Yeah, that's pretty much goes without saying. Uh, that's pretty accurate to how my life is. I don't read manga, but games and anime, all about it. The reason I'm playing this game is because I don't own a PS4, and so I can't play Ghost of Tsushima, otherwise I'd be doing that. Heh. <laughs> Classic. Heh. <laughs> Are you saying that you think I need some change? No one's perfect. That's true. That's true, Sayori. What a biblical thing to say. Hey, that cuts a little deep. What do you want me to do? Join the soccer club and trip over everyone? I'm very offended if you're trying to call me fat right now. Yeah, I get I get pretty offended if you do that. So, Again, I'm very much relating with this main character. Yeah, I was actually thinking of checking out the anime club. Wow, how'd you guess? It does suit my hobbies, though, so... Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, Miss Club Expert, if you're gonna criticize all my club choices, what would you suggest? Oh, it's the Literature Club, guys. Oh, really? Dang, so you get to take part in all the executive decisions, huh? The club kinda has four members. Yeah, so those are the four girls you can date. I, I wonder if Monica will be an option in this. She's not in the original one, which is why she goes insane and starts killing people because she wants to love you as the player and stuff like that. Uh, only four members. Sounds like you guys are just starting out then. What a club. What, what a club. Great. Guys, I have an education, I promise. What club is it anyway? Mm-hmm. 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 I like literature. Hit me up on Goodreads, people, if you can find me. Hey, who said I didn't like to read? I love reading, if you count uh, manga. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. I'm actually interested in your club, though. This is nice. And by some time, you're hoping for today, aren't you? All right, I'll have to look after school today. Yay, thanks, George. You're welcome. Although we should probably hurry up. Don't want to be late now, do we? You're right. All right, we're at the Gakko, we're at the school. Excellent. We wave goodbye. Have Sakurai. So I'm fairly confident. Who's Sakurai? Only one of the coolest, most down to earth teachers in the whole school. Young side, yeah, young guy, good. Smile. Not bad, sir. Same old, same old. How about you? Yeah, uh, I think one of the big selling ass points, uh, ass points, Ooh, don't curse children. Big selling points, I wanted to say aspects, mix them together. Uh, uh, aspects of this mod that they're really into um, is adding all these new characters. And so this guy must be one of them because I don't, he's not in the other one. I know that. And the other one is just your main character and the four girls and that's it. So I think they've added other people in here. First World War, Nazism, Second World War, that stuff, you bet. So he's your history teacher. Oh, that's good, that's the best subject. Yep, 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 yep. Emmy, oh, here's another new character. Bouncy and energetic, she has a reputation for, oh, wow. <clears throat> okay. I, I know who this is. Even though she's not in the other game, I think that they're referencing 
something else. Yeah, they are. They, they changed your hair color. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Huh. Let me see here. Let me see if I can pull up my... Let's see. So, I... This is... So, I'm not just insane. So, like, Katawa Shoujo, Cripple Girls, was like the... Doki Doki Literature Club of the early 2000s, or I guess, yeah, yeah, early 2000s. Uh, because it came, came out by these guys called Four Leaf, which is all from 4chan, and they made their own dating simulator, and it's all about dating girls who are crippled. And so, one of them is Emmy, and here she is, right? And so you can see that one, and you can see here, right? You see the, see the comparison? Yeah. So in the in that game, she lost her legs and she's on the track field. So this is just a a kind of a a little Easter egg for all you fans. I bet I bet none of the other Let's players know that one. They're all Zoomers, so they don't remember games like Kato Shoujo. Uh, hey, uh, and also yeah, I played Kato Shoujo recently. Okay, it's in my history. Get over it. Uh, we have one of those odd friendships. How are you doing, Emmy? She was actually my second favorite person to romance in that game, so I'm pretty stoked. I wonder if Hanukkah is, is here. Oh, we'll see. Oh. Yeah. Yep. It's funny you mentioned that I'm not part of any clubs, actually. I think I'm going to check out the literature club after school. Yep. How many times do I have to tell you that? All right. So we learn Sayori. Hey, the literature club's meeting today, right? You betcha. I mean, if you're the vice president, it can't be all bad, right? Let's do it. Let's join the literature club, boys and girls. Oh, here she is. All right, so that's my waifu in this game. I love Natsuki in the original one. I'm I'm a tsundere guy, so I'm all for, I'm all about the tsundere's, and she's she's there. I, unless they've changed her character in this one, so we'll see. Yeah. Hello. Ah, Sayori, hold up. It's a bit quick to call me a new member, isn't it? I then notice a third girl peek out from behind a bookshelf. Can it be? Is that Monica? Monica is one of the most popular girls of this high school. Everyone seems to flock to her because she's smart, beautiful, and athletic. You name it, she's got it. Unfortunately, this also means she's completely out of my league. She, <laughs> she looks at me. Uh, that's, that's true to real life, too. <laughs> what a nice surprise. Yeah, so this is the girl in the original game that goes insane, and she kills off basically all the other girls in the in the club, so you can end up with her. It's pretty fun, you know. Even if you already know the spoiler, it's still worth playing to see how he does it, the, this original guy. A new member. My name is Yuri. Yeah. Seems like I've fucked out. Not only is Monica in this club, but also a bunch of other cute girls. Am I glad I decided to come here instead of the anime club today? Yeah, probably not a lot of cute girls in the anime club. Not from speaking of from per I'm just guessing. But enough gawking, George. Start, stop staring and start talking. It's nice to meet you, Yuri. Like Sauri said, I'm George. I smile at her and then turn to Monica. So it sounds like you already know Monica. That's right. It's great to see you again. We do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we're in the same class. Yep. So right now... They've added a lot of other things, new characters and stuff, but it's basically following the same. <laughs> you too. Wow, I really am. Really am my same autistic self in this. Great. Uh, so you guys run a club with just the four of you then, huh? Sauri told me about how you were looking for new members. Uh-huh. Sauri so did say... Natsuki shoots me a piercing glare. Oh, gotta love it. She looks pissed at me, but for whatever reason, I don't know. You brought a boy. 
Yeah, he told me to join. Chirper to Sayori. Oh, great. Glowers at us. So yeah, alright, good. She's still a Sundere. That, that would have killed her character for me if she wasn't. Oh, it's nothing. I don't mind. I guess some people who might watch this aren't familiar with these tropes. So a Sundere is... So it's like... Sun means to like turn away from something in Japanese. And Dere kind of means like lovey-dovey. So it's like someone who's turning away in lovey-dovey. So they like pretend not to care about you as a person. But uh, while they... Well, but they actually do, right? So it's... I hate this show, but if you've ever seen Neon Genesis Evangelion, it's like that one red-headed girl. I, I, Atsuki, no, no, I don't remember. Asuka? Asuka, yeah. I wish I could forget that show, but unfortunately I can't. Sundere, oh, he used the word, all right. It's almost comical. Well, maybe my view of the world is just clouded by anime influences. Fair, fair, real life. I, didn't, I thought I was going to play a game where I was a Japanese high schooler. Turns out I'm just playing myself. Uh, Sayori and I were just walking to school when she mentioned this club to me. Since I was sort of looking for a club to join, I figured that I should check you guys out. At any rate, Sayori was really enthusiastic about the literature club, so... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 no. I don't really have any books on me at the moment. I just haven't seen any good titles recently. I wade through my teeth, hoping Monica doesn't see through my facade. I obviously don't read that much, but if they believe that I do, hopefully it'll help me relate to these girls. Plenty of books here. If you want to check out what we have, I'm sure you'll find something that matches your taste. I is that so? Then I guess I'll head over there. Maybe something might catch my eye. I start to sweat nervously as I walk awkwardly over to the bookshelf. Good variety of books, genres from horror and fantasy, nonfiction. Turn towards. Oh, all right, we got our decision. Natsuki, obviously, gotta go with the Sundere. Uh, so, do you have any recommendations? Manga. I glance back. I know it's Natsuki staring out the manga too. Ooh. Oh, dab. This is how you do it, boys. Well, what do you like to read, huh? Honestly, I just read manga most of the time, so the collection down there caught my eye. I didn't know that manga was allowed in the classroom like this. Those are actually Natsuki's. Don't just say it like that. Oh, she's embarrassed. Which series do you have? I have read a lot, but I don't think I recognize many here. The boss is a maid. <laughs> Rice Ball Basket, Orange High School Nightclub. Oh, that's pretty funny. Uh, these are, I think, are references to other anime. The Boss is a Maid might be Maid Sama, the Maid Sama one. I haven't seen that. Rice Ball Basket, I don't know. An Orange High School Nightclub is probably a reference to Urin Academy Host Club, which I think is sometimes also translated as Urin High School Host Club. I think so. So, there you go. I'm revealing my power level here. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. I could tell just by your expression. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, on me, pulls a very pink book out from a box set. I'm gonna show you exactly why. So I think in the original one, one of her lines that gets cut off by Monica is not to judge a book by its cover. So, ah, stare at the cover. It's the first volume, Parfait Girls. Yeah, this is what she makes you read in the other one too. Four girls in colorful attire. It's exceedingly moe. Well, don't just, oh, okay. Whoa! Might not want to read this. Excuse me? Who are you to say that George likes or dislikes something? Ladies, ladies, please, please. Um, thanks for your concern, Yuri, but I'm definitely open to trying out new things. I don't usually read this stuff, but I'm willing to give it a try. <laughs> Triumphantly smirks a bit while Yuri abashedly looks away. I guess I could satisfy everyone. Can't satisfy everyone. Yeah, you can. Just wait till you get to a church, George. Then you'll realize you can never satisfy everyone. 
manga can have just as deep as storylines. That's possible, though unlikely. Mm-hmm. 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 So desne. So desne. Alright. Plus being able to actually see the characters. Yeah, I mean I think that's a, a big part of why visual medium is so so uh important. I mean I I I'm enjoying this more than I would a Stephen not Stephen King. R.L. Stein like choose your own dating thing. Adventure book. Bit unorthodox, yeah, that's for sure. Manga, manga. Yeah. Manga is literature too. Yeah, I get in this fight with my friends all not my friend, one of my friends all the time who says that comic books aren't literature or you don't read comic books, you know, in the same way that you read a book. But he's also he's also from San Francisco, so he's really up his own butt. Anyway, this will be your homework today, George. I'll let you borrow volume one and you can start the next book tomorrow. But if you smudge it or bend it, I'll kill you. You don't have to worry about me, or that. I'm pretty protective of my manga, too. Is it really alright if I borrow it, though? I'm putting my spare time to read. Well, of course. No. I read Parfait, girls. No heartbeat. Okay, then. In that case, I'll think I'll give it a shot. Now, actually, nah, gosh, man, this is why I'm not an actor. In that case, I think I'll give it a shot now, actually. I want to make sure that I have enough time to finish it after all. Okay, okay. I slide onto a nearby desk, uh, moving to work on their own things. I quickly start flipping through the pages. Given that the pages take up the majority of, pictures take up the majority of space, the pages of the manga, it doesn't take me long to get through the beginning. I start to become more aware of Natsuki sneaking peeks in my direction. Heck yeah. She seems intently focused on my face. <clears throat> Natsuki, did you need something? You seem to really like looking in my direction. <laughs> yeah, in the first uh, in the first game, your character is like so passive. He just kind of goes along. It seems like they gave him a little bit more of a personality. That's good. Natsuki starting to furiously blush and sputter. Baka! It's not like I was looking at you or anything. I was just staring into space. Don't you have anything better to do? Dang. Yeah, of course. All right. It's basically about a bunch of friends in high school and the cutesy hijinks they get themselves into. Typical slice of life affair. Uh, for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up, yeah. Facts. Okay, that's nice, it subverts it. Uh-huh. Romance manga. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm here for the romance, so... In fact, let's, uh, you know, let's make some moves in that direction. <laughs> Call it a novel. Alright, I'll go... Wow, alright. You're already talking to everyone. I guess this is more like real life, which is nice. I mean... As much as it can be. Hey, how's it going, Sayori? What are you reading? I sit down. Nothing much, just reading some stuff for a school project. Uh, yeah, it was a good read, at least as far as I can tell right now. It's really, oh, I'm not bored. Of course not, Sayori, sure, I haven't been here for long, but I've enjoyed meeting everyone. They've opened my eyes to new stuff. Yeah, no, new stuff like manga. I've never been a huge, I've never been huge on reading, but I'm confident the literature club could change that. I don't know what you mean. I think reading will grow on me in time. Actually, do you mind if I sit with you and read? Is that your kind of surprise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, we've been talking for a bit, haven't we? Man, I didn't even realize the time. I can see why you come to the literature club so much. There really is a welcome, at ease vibe here. It must be nice to change pace after how hectic the school day can be. I can't help but notice that Natsuki and Yuri seem to be very different though. Do they argue much? Well, that's only normal, I guess. Monica seems like a great president though. She must be very proud of this club. Speak of the devil. <laughs> George, if you only knew. 
good moment of silence. I'm honestly having a great time. <laughs> well, that's awkward. Thanks for the warm welcome, everyone. Uh, turns out I can bake some cupcakes. Okay. Yeah, so she's really into baking in the first game, which is why she also likes the parfait girls. It's all about baking and stuff. Yep, Yuri likes tea. Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Oh, that's cute. I think she does She does this in the other one. I, I just don't think it shows you what they look like. Uh-huh. Man, that would be nice. She's waiting for me to take a bite. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. She made it all by herself. That's seriously impressive. Practically tastes professionally done to me. Then again, it's not like I have the most discerning taste palette. Yeah, that's like me in real life. I really like those pre-made cupcakes that they sell in supermarkets and the cookies that are basically just 500% sugar. So if this was sweet, I would like it. Although the Japanese tend to make their stuff less sweet than ours. They think our stuff is like way over the top. So it's possible that these would just be like mediocre. But I'll, I, I like to dream, I'll dream. It said it was sweet in the text, so I'll, I'll say it's American sweet. Yeah, it really seems like it. Did you make it by yourself or did your parents help? Did, or did you, parents, ooh, typo. Did your parents help you? It's like, why even put, put a mod together if you're gonna miss words like that? Uh, no, it's just that it seems professionally made, so I was wondering if you're an actual baker. Gosh, who plays Skyrim anymore? What a nerd. Wish my dad was a baker, but just... Oh yeah, so... Again, in the original game, I don't know what they do in this one. Could change. In the original game, her dad is abusive. I don't know if it's physically abusive, but definitely... Uh, actually, no, I think it... I think it does imply that he he's physically abusive. He's, so he's physically abusive and mentally abusive towards her in the original game, which is why she is the way she is or whatever. So maybe that's still true. Uh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, I just suck at cooking myself. Again, true to life. So I'm wowed by good cooking. Although this is actually baking. I guess I should count myself lucky that I got to try your cupcakes today. And then time to bake. So be thankful. Bow down before me, peasant. <laughs> no, no. I bow before Christ alone. That's it. Even a cute anime girl can make me do that. Uh, carefully places a teacup. Yeah, thank you. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Uh, I, I guess. Oop. Embarrassing. Don't worry about it, I believe you. Tea and reading might not be a common pastime for me. This is a lot of the same dialogue. It's good that they kept it basically the same. Um, well, that reminds me, I've actually been meaning to ask you something, Monica. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, and stand politics feels like nothing but arguing. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. But I guess it must be hard to start a new club since everyone prob everyone's probably settled in their own activities already. We have people best in. Speaking of school events, I don't think I saw your club at the club fair at the beginning of the year. Oh, I guess that explains why you don't have many club members yet. Uh, wow, this is already so much more happy than the other one, which might mean it's <laughs> gonna take a bad turn. Uh, By the way, I know that everyone here likes reading, but do you guys write as well? Wow. 
Do you guys just read and discuss books then? Sounds more like a normal book club than a literature club. Wow, I'm tough to pre please. Huh, to be honest, I was kind of expecting you all to do stuff like write poetry together. That's funny. In the other game, this is something Monica proposes. Uh, and you you kind of go along with it. It's interesting that they make you propose it. Uh, do you not like poetry, Natsuki? Sly smile, Monica gets up, rummages through her book bag, and returns with a loose notebook page in her hands. Oh, she found your poem. Your nosy nose? <laughs> okay. I'm not cute. So do you write your own poems, Nazi? I just think that's pretty neat. It is actually pretty neat. I, I give a lot of credit for people who write poetry. It's not something I do. I write a lot, but I don't write poetry. It's, it's hard to do. And the only one, the only time I ever did, the person I gave it to just like tore into it and never again. Why don't you share them with the club sometime? Like Sayori said, there's some nothing wrong with being cute, you know? Facts. Facts on facts. Scorn drips from the word cute. Ah, uh, I guess I didn't think of it that way. That's nice. A brief moment of silence falls upon us as we all reflect on the conversation. <laughs> all right, so maybe, so maybe that's what she, she still is going to suggest it, but at least it's a little bit more played out this time. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. The literature club has been very welcoming so far, at least after the initial introductions were made. And although I'll have to wait, I'll have to start writing poems, it seems like a fair price to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Gotta do what you gotta do. I had my doubts at first, but given how friendly and welcoming these girls are, I don't really see any reason why I shouldn't join the club. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll be looking forward to becoming better friends with you all. Thank you, Monica. So I wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey! She whispers this last remark in my ear, so she was aware that I'd never agreed to join in the beginning. That sneaky girl. Although, uh, no, I was gonna say that's what that guy in Jurassic Park says, but he says clever girl. Although Sayori is the most enthusiastic, all the girl's eyes are lit up in happiness. I would have been super pissed. <laughs> All right, write a poem. Next meeting. Sorry. See how you express yourself. Yeah. When I really impress Monica with my mediocre reading and writing skills, something tells me no. Jeez, I can already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Oh well, it's not like Monica is going to be as harsh as an actual water teacher in Japan, right? Meanwhile, the others continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Not like many people is the least I can do for her. Oh, this is nice. That two of us wave goodbye to the others and make our way home. And then today, focus particularly on each club member. My mind wanders between them all. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica. I'm excited to hang out with everyone from now on. Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of them. I think it's interesting, and I don't know if... I think in the, maybe in the original game it was done just to make her offsetting. Monica's the only one who has a non-Japanese name. Named after a Christian saint, Augustine's mother, Monica. Uh, I'll just need to make most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem. All right. Oh, well, this is nice. So this is a day that passes. I wonder if I still get to write a poem. Um, write in the loosest terms. Okay, yeah. 
uh, time to write a poem, pick words. Yeah, so the way this works is you you kind of pay attention to what they like and then you pick what they like. So I'm going for Natsuki, she likes cute stuff. So you gotta go with the word cute, right? Doki Doki, that's how they uh, do an onomatopoeia of a heartbeat in Japanese. That's cutesy, so I'll do that. Puppies are cute. Raindrops are probably cute. Oh, no, that's Yuri, that's depressed girls. So it looks like Monica still isn't an option because she isn't here. Nibble is a cute word. Uh, pure. Giggles, cute. Lollipops are cute. Heaven sent. I mean, that's probably not that, but I, you know, I like that. Philosophy, intellectual. Pink, pink is a cute color. Sugar's cute. Strawberries are cute. Parfaits are cute. Joy, uh, kisses. Kisses are cute. Uh, cheeks are cute. Kawaii, uh, literally, cute. Fester, uh, uh, vivacious, dark. Vivacious, I guess? Yeah, I don't think I had a word there. Manga, she likes manga. Gotta include manga in my poem. Pleasure, waterfall. Oh, man. Waterfalls are cute. Or whatever, girly. I don't know. Rainbow. Whoa! Oh, rainbow's suicide. Nice. Um, marriage. Okay, well. All right, so I think what I'll do is I'll save here and I'll kind of do a different video each day. So that was day one. And then tomorrow or whenever I record again, I'll do day two until I eventually get through this through one playthrough. See how that goes. Uh, I'll just return to my normal content next time. I'm putting together a few different videos right now and it's kind of annoying to rip some of the images off YouTube. So I will get around to doing that. It also involves anime. Well, this is an anime, but you get what I'm saying, Japanese stuff. So it should be exciting. So if you watch this, you know, thanks. I don't know, stick around.